Yo, what's up guys? What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be negotiating a property that needs to be gutted. So uh, we have an as-is comp that we're going off of down the street that sold for what? How much again? $65,000, all right? So what we're gonna do right now is just kind of give this person a call back. The house needs like 50K in renovations. Husband bought it, couldn't finish the rehab. It is what it is. All right, Julian, let's go for it and call this person. I ain't gonna lie, I got a dirty past Always in a race, been first, been last Never fit in with the working class Now all this money gonna hurt this bag Eyes on the top of the totem pole I done learned wisdom, no one knows Hate the word guru, that's a joke Say that shit for so-and-so Getting this bread, I'm making Rubens Faces blue like a Hayukin I don't really care what the ops are doing None of my biz, my business booming I remember when I couldn't win for losing Now they see my drip be oozing I'ma have the final highlight fusion Going to the shit, well yeah, we cruising See the dollar signs up in my old host No emojis, no Pro bonos, never been a yes man, that's a no no. I just been the best man, ain't no authors. Diamonds dancing like a go go. Now everybody wanna take a photo. I'm the go to, but I ain't solo. Show the whole crew love, yeah, we global. I ain't gonna lie, I got a dirty pass. Always in a race. Hello. Hi, Lydia. Is this her? Hey, Lydia, how you doing? Uh, I work with uh, Jeff Lindsay Julian. Julian told me that you spoke with him about your property. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So I'm the decision maker here whenever it comes to buying houses. And I just kind of want to get a little bit more information uh, regarding the house. Uh, do you mind sharing the address with me one more time? One, uh, 1831. Okay, hold on one second. How are you doing today? Oh, fine. Just a little hot, a little humid outside. Yeah, I feel and it. And I'm starving, so we're on our way for an early dinner. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to go home and have some uh, some lobster with my wife. And we've been needing that, I'll tell you that. All right. Are you all located in San Antonio? Yeah, we're here in San Antonio. My office right here off Babcock 410. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so 1831? Uh, east. East? Drexel, D-R-E-X-E-L. I see it, D-R-E-L, I got you, okay. Let's take a look at this thing. So when I was talking to Julian, uh, I see that it, wow, it's a 1-1, one, one, 576 it's square feet? It's a 2-1. It's a 2-1, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, how long ago did you guys start working on this house? Uh, January. January? Yeah. Okay, what happened, if you don't mind me asking? Well, my, my husband is a contractor, so we thought he'd, we'd have uh, extra time on the weekends, but he looks solid. You know, so we haven't had a chance to go remodel at all. I got you. I got you. Now look, uh, Lydia, Lydia, it's Lydia or Lydia? Lydia. 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 Okay. Cool name. Uh, my name's Quentin. You know, we were like one-off chances to ever have our names. Like we have, we have, we have <laughs> unique names. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I do see a house that sold as is down the street for like sixty thousand. But that house, it, it was as is, but it, need a lot, it didn't need a lot of work. And just from the photos that I saw, I see that it's a full-blown gut rehab. What were you guys wanting yeah. for this house? Uh, we're asking for 65, but that could be negotiable. All righty, all righty. Now, um, let me just get some, some information because, you know, a full gut is a full gut. Like, you know, when I, when I say gut, I say either we can rip this house off of the, the ground and build something new, or we can mm -hmm. make something happen with this, right? So yeah. um, let, let's go forward and break it down. Uh, how about this? Uh, when you guys started the rehab on this property, did you guys already complete the wiring inside of the home? And did you have to pull out like uh, permits to do any of the work? We haven't rewired anything. We just, okay. we just knocked down the, the, the sheetrock. Okay. Now, did you guys pull permits for anything, any of the work that you're gonna do with the home? Anything yet. No. Okay. When you bought it, was it already in that condition or you just kind of just like ripped open the sheetrock and all that good stuff? We, we, ripped, we ripped everything open because we were, we were going to remodel, we were going to, um, you know, add a, a half bath, but it, it, we didn't get around to it. I understand. I understand. We wanted to kind of have an open living room, kitchen area because everything was had walls all around it so we wanted to kind of open up the living and area but we didn't get around to that either like i said my husband's a contractor he works seven days a week so he he doesn't have a task to do anything and i can't do it by myself of course 
Yeah, no, I, I completely understand that. A queen should sit on her throne. <laughs> My wife, you know, she's not into real estate at all. My wife, she's actually a music artist. So, you know, for some people, it's just not what you're passionate about, you know? Not saying that you're, you're not, I'm just saying like, I mean, you won't catch my wife picking up a hammer and knocking some stuff oh, down. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you know, I have rental properties, but, you know, we got rid of them. But, yeah, no, I've, I've done my share of uh, painting and putting, you know, the tiles, flooring, the stick-ons, and, you know, cleaning after people. It sucks. No. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Give me just one second, okay? So, guys, one of the first things that you can do is... Go to Google and then type in um, wherever you're from, the county or the city, and then type in permits. So Google, right, city and permits. And you should be able to see like a, a place where you can input some of the information. I don't know if y'all can see it, but they didn't pull any permits when they started doing work on this home. So uh, who knows? That could be a bad thing. Depends on how far in the rehab they got. So that's kind of what we're about to find out. All right, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Um, now, regarding the house, uh, you, didn't, you said you guys didn't do anything. There wasn't any massive construction that was done where you would have to no. pull a permit? I had, we had, well, all we did was just pull out the sheetrock. Okay. Is the is there any electricity or plumbing already? Well, I need to see some of the pictures already. I already sent in the pictures. Okay, let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at them. Give me one second. I'm gonna, my friend, he's here, he's gonna pull out the, the, the photos for yeah. me now. That way I have you on the phone and I can ask you questions about everything. Yeah. I'm not playing any he said, she said. Okay. Oh no, someone's calling. <laughs> okay. So this is it. So that's a gut right there. Wow. I feel like I've seen this house before. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. I'm taking a look at the photos. All right, well, we deal in cash. We can close very quickly, you know, all that stuff aside. I'm looking at it, it looks rough. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, Lydia. Lydia. Um, I mean, what, what, what would you say, I mean, in work, this house needs? How much in work? Well, you're seeing the pictures, it needs pretty much uh, everything. Uh, everything, yeah. Okay, and you said it's a two bedroom, one bath? Yes. Is it vacant right now? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, what about, let's say, 40000 Would that work? Really? I can, we were working on the price, and you know, we really didn't want to take anything under fifty five. Under fifty five. Yes. Well, uh, you know, just it's the amount of work that I'm going to have to put into it. That's what I'm looking at. And when I, when I look at the market, I had to go back two months to find something and you're like right on the end of the street you know that's right. that's what i'm looking at and if you cross amanda street to the other side that's where you see houses that are selling but in your little pocket between hammond and peck avenue it's really hard for me to find you know uh like comps for the house i see one but it's across amanda street and when you're looking at comps like that you know it's it's imperative that you understand where things are happening especially if it's a street that divides uh, the value of your property and what it could be worth. And I'm, this is just me giving you facts, you know, because somebody else is going to hit you with an offer if you don't accept ours. I completely respect your decision, you know, and uh, ultimately with us, we have to figure out, you know, if we spend 40000 on a house, if we put 50000 into it, will it then be livable at that price? Am I going to be able to refinance it and get my money back? I just don't want 40000 to be tied up for that long. Maybe. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? I mean, uh, do you think you can meet me in the middle at 45? I'd have to uh, talk it over with my husband, you know, it, you know, it, it is both of our houses, so we, we have to talk it over first. You think we can get them on the phone so we can all talk, so that way it's not any he said, she said, and he hears, yeah. and he hears it from me well, directly? Right, well, exactly, like right now, we're just pulling up into a restaurant to eat dinner, so I don't, I don't know if he wants to talk about numbers right oh, now. Yeah, don't worry I'm about it. Look, enjoy your food. Um, if you don't hear from me this evening, I can call you back tomorrow morning. Okay, and can I say your number? And you said your name was Quentin, correct? Yes, Quentin, like Quentin Tarantino. Yes, yes. All okay, right. Okay, Quentin, I'll, I'll talk to him, and uh, I will uh, text you later. You guys enjoy your food, enjoy your evening, and I'll talk to you in the morning, okay? Okay. God bless. 
So at the end of the conversation, it seemed like we were, we were dancing around a number together, right? In this conversation, what I did was I brought facts to the table, right? There is some comps and some areas that are happening like right over here, but her house is right outside of that pocket right here. So I know it may seem like, a, like, a, like, like it's not a big deal, but when you're in a small market like San Antonio, man, like you can't, cr you can't cross a major highway and where your neighborhood is, that's where you're gonna wanna stay. And you see how hers is like in a corner lot? Like if you really take a look at that, well, that, that's, that's, that's a factor here, right? Not only that, but the house needs a lot of work. So I brought facts to the table. One, they started doing work without permits. I had to search the permits first. All right, boom, there goes my pain points and my, my ways that I can negotiate this deal, right? So now that I understand they haven't pulled out permits, but they started doing work to the home, that's a big deal. I can use that to my advantage. One, and two, the, the property is just outside of a pocket, right? But they haven't done the electricity, they haven't done the plumbing, they haven't done any real work to it. They were just wanting to sell the house. And uh, guys, in essence, it's a full blown gut. So we brought them down from 65 to considering 45. That's a twenty thousand dollar difference, which could be a difference between you and uh, your ten thousand dollar or five thousand dollar assignment fee. So, guys, if you like what you saw, like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, hit the like button, share with your homies. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I want the check. Hey guys, if you like this video, go on and head over to my Instagram where I post exclusive content to help you grow your business.